Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The moment everyone has been waiting for since the turn of the year. Yes. The bracket is back. It's time. <laughs> it's time, officially time. So, um, year three of the yeah, bracket. Yeah, this is year three, isn't it? Yeah. Year three. So, some things are familiar, a couple of things will have changed. Mm -hmm. A couple of modifications we think we can, you know, make it a slightly more fair test. It's been evolving the it. over the years. It has evolved, it been? and it will yeah. continue to it evolve. It will continue to evolve, because <laughs> we, we kind of just on. decide how we want to do it every year. It's kind of what it is. Yeah. We're back to number six at Carnoustie, Hogan's Alley. We yes. love that. That's, I love it. That's a must. I don't ever want that to change. I want a stadium built around it. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> um, but we are going to stay there. Um, we are still going to stay, stick to the same formula yep. of um, distance minus accuracy. I agree with that one. And I think that makes a lot of sense. But we're going to have a prelim. Mm. Because this year, we're only entering into the bracket one driver ahead from each company. Yeah, a lot of the feedback, and I think it was very fair, Yes, there's some companies that make four drivers yeah. and other ones only make two. So we want to be, I think, as fair to each manufacturer as only to get one entry. Yep. And there's a few that we've kind of, I think we've picked in advance through some other fittings. But Callaway being one of the ones that we're not totally sure whether the speed or the, the LS model will make more sense. Basically, mm -hmm. it's what model will have the best chance of, of winning. Exactly right. Yeah. So we've got, the, yeah, we've got the LS in play, this, this prelim, we've got the speed both drivers that realistically you could play? I think so, yeah. I, I kind of have my eye on this speed. I kind of more attached to the, the look and You like, you've, you, you like the look, the look, look since day one? I do, it has a certain something. And it also, I think you, you've said this also, the sound of it, Yeah. very different compared to the um, LS. It reminds me of last mm -hmm. year, the standard Maverick versus the Sub-Zero. Yeah. They're pretty different in sound and feel. And I think I got yeah. kind of attached to one versus the other. Yeah. Even talking a little bit to Johnny Wonder about what the, the guys on tour have been using. Mm. There's a lot of speed drivers out on tour right now. So Interesting. that's it's kind of like, you know, last year, were there many guys playing standard Maverick? No. Was no, there, there a lot of guys none. playing Sub-Zero? Yes. Mm. So this is, the speed, I guess, is the, is the standard Maverick of last year with some modifications. So right. it, just, it just shows you um, that there's a lot of valid tech in there, which there really is. All right, Matty boy. So shall uh, we? Take us away. Lovely opener, Matty boy. A wee bit spinny. Hair of spin. It's hint of spin. Hint. Out the gates with a last oh. one. Like that. <laughs> Aggression. Welcome to the bracket. Better. Lovely. Sailing past Jump. the bunker. Bye bye. I think it will. Oh, yes. Ta -ta. That's a good part of the head, I think. Nice. Yes. Nice. Good too. A little low in the face. It's carrying though. Hang on. Yep, coming back. Uh, stay. Oh, stay there. Soft. Ground drop, Soft. please. Oh, there you, you did too. Well, it's definitely a lower spin. Yeah, that like came out flat, didn't it? Good lord. We have to keep this in the air. Nice, though. Ooh. Like that. Slightly higher the center? Yes. It took off much higher that time. Ooh. Hello. Flat, eh? Man, is that flat hit that good, though? Yeah, no, it's a screamer. Yep, it's a low flight. An 80. Yes. That's Lovely. good. That's good. Handsome. Run. Run away. The bullet, but it's going to stay in, I think. Yeah, it's going to be handsome. Yes. Yes. Well, I think that's... That's a good set. Yeah, it's a, a nice lead through the first set with, uh, with the LS, isn't it? Well, 
That's a decent start. That is a oh. good start. Can you just take the sound from the speed and put it in the LS and Couldn't then you'd they? be happy? Could, I would be, yes. Because I'm, I gotta be honest, I'm cheering for this one because I really just prefer hitting it so much more. Mm -hmm. But how are you supposed to argue with numbers that are considerably better? It was always gonna be, you know, the numbers that dictate the result, but you have your preferences that are built in, but you can't ignore it to this Kids. point. No. That's oh, good. Oh, that sounded yes. hammered. That was good. I like. That one got the full treatment, Matty boy. It did. Ooh. That's good too. Another one with the treatment. It's making a late charge. Yes. Yes. What a charge late on here from Epic Speed. Found its legs. Tell you what. Yeah, decent. Smashing. Decent swing there. Okay. Your neck went a bit and it just goes way further, doesn't it? A, a necky one that went really, really well. Crazy. Ooh, love it. That one's hit well. Hammer. Goodbye. Hammer. But I'll get away with it, yeah. Toey, but I got away with it. Stinky, That's but good. Be okay, yeah. yeah. There's no doubt about it. The misses with this thing are great. Yes. A beauty. Yes. Yep, it's a keeper. One of the longest drivers uh, we've tested in a while, this thing, isn't it? Definitely is. Too high performance for a prelim. They really are, yeah. It wasn't, I wasn't really expecting it to be kind of down to the wire with yeah. those calculations. It actually, pretty tight race. It literally came down to when the ball speed is exactly the same, 177.4, 177.5. Yeah. It literally came down to 500 RPMs of spin, changing mm. the land angle by eight degrees. Yeah. That gave the LS more distance on the ground because the carry was exactly the same. That's the part that's so interesting. And both the drivers, both of them at nine degrees, yep. I think it really sort of illustrates the differences between those two heads. Definitely. I think the speed is really, really good, but if you want kind of that maximum balance of carry and roll, yeah. it just wasn't able to keep the launch. I mean, you could have gone down and loft, I'm sure, again, but then what's going to happen? You're going to lose carry and stuff. Yeah, and you're also starting to play with face angle a little bit yeah. at that speed because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have uh, adjustability from a, a weighting perspective. Definitely. So you don't have that. You could hot melt, I suppose, but um, the ALS was in a really nice flight window for you, Everybody quite was. flat. Yeah, uh, it was quite flat, but it was it was good. So the totals were um, the LS was slightly longer. Now the speed was marginally straighter, but not enough to uh, to knock or, or to offset the amount of distance the LS. Yeah, gave it would have you. had to be kind of really, really a lot straighter. Yeah, preference-wise, I, I probably as I said during the video, I'm kind of cheering for the speed because I really like how it looks and yeah. sounds and feels. W at what point is the trade-off too much? Like, would you go mm. purely preference and lose ten yeah. yards? I wouldn't. I mean, I don't think most people would. No, definitely. Um, and we spoke about it in the video, and it is worth mentioning it now. You're on course performance. We yes. have to factor that in as well. You tend to spin the ball a little more on the course, definitely. whether definitely. that's T height, whether that's just you know a little, a little anxious to kind of keep the ball is. in play. Just a bit of hesitation, and you maybe you, I maybe strike it a bit lower than normal. Yeah. But you're yeah. absolutely right. I think when you fit me the spin window, I'm going to assume it's going to be three or four hundred higher on yeah. the course. And sometimes you do have to. Uh, do that with certain players and players you get to know. You have to know their tendencies in the course. If you I mean, because that's Definitely. such a valuable extra piece of information. It really is. Yeah, and it would avoid you making the mistake of going, okay, well, the 2400 mm -hmm. with the speed is is fine. Yeah, it's a little on the margin, but then I know it'll be 2800 on the mm -hmm. course, and then. If I'm losing 25 yards, I'll just come right back to you and say, this isn't working for me. You came out the gates today with some really quick ones, some 180s and uh, some really Definitely. quick ones, but that's why the averages over the piece are so good because when you shake it out over 20 drives, you've, you've ended up at 177.4 ball so, speed with one and 177.5 with the other. And I kind of, I think 
in the long run through the bracket with this a little bit of adjustability i think that's going to help it yeah. i towed a few with this and i kind of said to you like oh god i don't yeah. think that's going to be any good and they ended up being a drive that we kept yeah, it was. like it was one of our better ones so yeah. i think that will be probably a big factor all right two more prelims to go guys we've got cobra prelim we've got tailor-made prelim yep um rad speed versus rad speed xb sim 2 versus sim 2 max yes that's mm -hmm. the only two we've got to do before we get into the driver bracket itself, the top eight. And you'll see those later this week? We'll see those later this week. Okay, two more prelims. Stay tuned for those. We'll see you again soon.